Six days ago, we came together. We have been making some drama, some stories, some theatre. And we thought, what would it look like if we made a play about some of the problems that we talked about? This afternoon, we invite you to play with us. I want you to think about what you might have done. You say stop. How do we, as a community, <laughs> help each other? You can come up and show us. Are you ready, ladies? Yes. Are you ready, audience? Yes! Are you going to speak loud, ladies? Yes! <laughs> Are you? Yes! Good. Yes. Money matters. Thank you. The project came about from becoming aware of the Action for Bow Fund. Primarily, the aim was to engage residents of those areas and support the community in exploring the issues that were of concern to them. We also said that we would engage ESOL learners, so within that context, the aim then was just to support their learning and to look at how theatre and drama techniques not only help develop the vocabulary, but also the confidence, really, to speak English. Three, two, one. With Forum Theatre, it's always the group that identifies the issues they want to talk about. And when you're talking about those issues deeply and then you're turning it into a performance, I think you just get a deeper understanding of it. It's a kind of rehearsal for life and it just gives you the chance to step back in and think about what are the other options. Is it possible? to change the difficult things about living in Europe. Is it possible? No, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Next question. How? It. <laughs> How? How? Okay, now, we are going to tell stories with each other, not about what is good about living because that's good. There's nothing to change. No, nothing. There's nothing change. to change. Yeah. We are going to share stories with each other and with our audience about the difficulties yeah. about living in Burma. And what is the Malik character of the He's 15 years old. How long ago did his father die? Should we say three years? He's still upset. Okay. Good. Okay. Amalit, who is the my daughter? I'm looking for my daughter. Uh, my thing is my daughter. Why you ask me? I don't know where is your daughter. It's uh, no shouting, money. It's a nice name. Shut up, old women. You still need to stand up. Okay. Shut up, old women. It's no. Very nice. <laughs> scared the nice out of me. Say me again. Angry. Where is my daughter? The difference in the rehearsal room is we're doing so many things. There's different ways of learning. Improvisation, being connected to the material and not sat with a piece of paper and pen with words you have to pronounce properly. I suspect and I have been told it's very easy in the class to just actually sit there and say nothing. Michael! Yes, no? Come here. In a rehearsal room, it's just fun. That's why it's a really effective tool for learning. Yeah. Do you think drama should be used for learning English? Everybody talk. You copy from them, and then you copy from the teacher. Every time, talk and... Action. Yes. All the time, acting, action, talking, go up and down, practice everything. So you sell yourself. I think slowly push class. Drama, at the moment, you say, give me confidence to talk to a lot of people. I can stand in front of a lot of people to talk to them, to talk to them. Wow. Yes. Wow. Mm. Before you couldn't? No. You wouldn't? No. I feel hot and shake, so I can. But now, I can. You miss your bus? Yes. No, 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 my dear, I can't help you this one. It's stop your benefits now. Yes, four weeks. I stop your benefit for four weeks. 
This is our pay form. You can fill it and bring me back. Okay. okay. Very good, very good, very good, Diana. I like this person. I've met these people before. Having identified the problems that we face in society or in our communities, we are at the same time asking ourselves what the possible solutions might be, practicing our vocabulary and use of language around those solutions. So we're actually going to work on some of the issues, some of the problems that they face, and then we hope that in doing so, in creating that dialogue, that conversation, that debate, that actually we might be making progress slowly but surely around those issues. Come with me. Come on. Okay, no problem. So, how are you feeling? I feel uncomfortable because. Because. Because she is not more black. But people know, because we're going to say my name is and I play, people know that you're not being Rima. You've been a young boy and you're telling us a story, so be fine. You are going to stand up and say, my name is Rima and I play Malik, shopkeeper, housing association officer, a bad boy. Debbie, where do you live? I live in Romanco. Are you ready, ladies? Yes. Great, then, ladies and gentlemen, I give you This is Our Family. Go outside her home. So, what? I'm not shy. One, go! I'm ready, Debbie. You have people. No! Why would you give your money? Why am I a lady? Go away! Go! 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 <laughs> you know, I've been attacked in the name? park. Where? In the park, I've been attacked. Who is attacking The old lady attacked me. Who is she? I don't know, she slapped me. Why? I don't like to live anymore here. Forget it. Okay, don't worry, my son. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't touch me. Have. What does Debbie want? What is the problem with her son? He feels that his father was there and he would be, you know, hunky dory. Why is the sister in law a problem? Because she wants to control her daughter to be like a good person, not to get money from other people. So I'm going to give you one minute to talk to your neighbours. This time, if you think that Debbie could or should do something different to get what she wants. Respect, understanding, someone to listen to her, control. You shall yeah. stop get up! Get up. <laughs> Why do you say stop? Why? Come on, up you come. You ready, guys? Come show us. Come show us. You be Debbie? Hands up those of you who believe yes. You need to be a friend of your child. Husband, what do you think of this new Debbie? Yes. What? You like this I new think... Debbie? <laughs> Why? Why do you like this new because Debbie? She's, 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 she's my feeling understand. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. When we asked ourselves where do stories come from, we agreed that well, one source of stories is real life and our lived experience. And that can either come from the past or what's happening in the present. Are there any other problems? Should we go to the daughter, have a look at the daughter, or sister-in-law? Which one? Daughter. Daughter? Okay. Daughter. Can we go from the daughter? You see the problem, you say stop. Yeah. So, so there is another level to what's going on here. Once we start to explore our stories and tell our stories, there is a need to have to share that experience when we're given the opportunity. There's something about that compulsion that I think is then supporting the speaking of English. We're speaking because we need to. We're speaking because we want to, because we have to. Because if you, why not? She is my name. No! Why not give you money? Why? When you think of the week, what, what was hard in the week? Practice. Oh. Practice. The practice, the rehearsals was hard. Um, that practice is so hard. But when I perform, I feel so fun and comfortable. It's not um, bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. When you're doing something, 
you can when hear that lady the, uh, uh, sorry you can hear the people laughing so give you more confidence to do it yes yeah. when you are thinking is when you do it it's good that's why people because Anytime you have to do the concert or drama, if you can't see or you hear that laughing or clap, it's not rubbish. It's good. The people laughing, clapping. Yeah, enjoy it. They are not. Yeah. It's very interesting yeah. and helpful speaking. Yeah. yeah. You know, we are doing Isol. Isol just uh, speaking and uh, writing and reading, but. And this course is very helpful in doing it. I think my thinking and my uh, doing change. Very excited. And all of them, I think, is helpful. I have three girls, all teenagers. I can take this opportunity to uh, give it to them. Then after that, my grandchildren and my grandson too. Yes, it's helped me future. Oh my gosh. Right, go ladies, run. Food. Yes, man. Okay, bye. Thank you very much. Bye, my darlings. Have a good run. And we would like to give them a certificate. They are going to get two certificates for this project and this is the first one just from our company which is Cardboard Citizens to say that they have completed a Cardboard Citizens Forum Theatre Training Week. Uh, this is to certify that Rehena Begum <laughs> has successfully completed the above course. Well done. So has Shahina Begum. Round of applause please. Really well done, these two. They joined the project quite late and they have never done this stuff before, have you? So well done. Yeah. Yeah.